Okay, happy Otter Awareness Day, uh, or week. So I saw that little message on my little Google thing, and I uh, thought it was quite a sweet one. So I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd share with it. And welcome to day 24. And today we're doing the character animation of Chip from uh, Beauty and the Beast. So, if you can see here, I'm making, I made a brief little plan of what I want the animation to be. So I want him to be kind of like, Kind of carefully trying to maintain his balance and then spilling over the sort of plan. So that is the that's the that's the idea for it. So this is focusing very much on those sort of reverse curves of like going from one area to the next and what uh, I will say I was I feel I was a bit too ambitious with this animation, considering I just off straight away off the top of my head then dive right into it. But, uh, when I uh, used to go to the gym quite a bit, the way they would, the way you improve is you, well, there's a thing called drop sets, so let's say you can do, I don't know, 5 kilos 20 times, you then go up to 7 kilos 18 times, and then, uh, nine kilos, twelve times, you know, and you keep gradually getting heavier and doing less, things like that. And this is the sort of equivalent of this. So we're doing more animation in one day, but the theory is that if I struggle with it, then it will work out. That's a theory at least, I don't know how much the execution is going to be. Uh, there's no video tomorrow, by the way. I uh, might have... Uh, I think I forgot, or I was driving. I can't remember the reason. There was some reason. So, sorry about that. Um, there's a dialogue on the chip. It's a shame, because I actually really enjoyed this character. It's a very simple... Character, but he poses a new set of challenges. As to be honest, most um, classic Disney or animation characters we've kind of looked at throughout these various weeks do pose a lot of unique challenges, which I love. I mean, it's one of the beauties of animation, and to be honest, art in general is there's no there's formulaic things that are, that universally apply to everything, but unique characters that have strong personalities and behaviors create their own set of rules inside of that system. Now, looking at this again, kind of as I've finished it, I should have started with the cup first and just trying to get that bounciness to it. Because I know, well, you'll see, but uh, it ends up not being as good as I would have wanted, but I think it's because I got too far with this. No, it's fine, at least we learn. Make a mistake once, and then you never have to do it again. Since it's played at, I believe, five times speed, uh, yeah. I think it's five times. That's fun. Actually, in in news in relation to uh, Beauty and the Beast, then the woman who played the teapot, I think Angela Lowsbury, um, she actually passed away. So it's very sad. R.I.P. She was a she was a good character. I don't overly. Remember, and to be honest, with um, animation and voice actors and things like that, when they get celebrities for them, I never really realize they're in that performance. So, when I was younger, at least, I don't know about but nowadays, I'm more akin to it because I, I recognize the people in more productions that I've seen as I'm getting older. But I, uh, I don't, as a kid, you don't really care, I think. 
And I don't really think it's that strong of a selling point to you uh, adults. Well, maybe it is, maybe I'm completely wrong, but I don't think it's... I think if you weren't going to see a movie before, I don't think then finding out that someone like Jackie Chan is in it makes you go, well, now i got to see it. Jackie Chan's in it. To be honest, a lot of the time I think it's um, actors growing up and having kids and going like, I want my kids to see me in a movie that they like, and they like animation at the time, so like, well, I must be in that. So it's more of an ego thing than it is a proper appreciation of the art form. So I've sort of done the maths on this, and I believe that the final episode of, uh, well, I believe that where we are now is on the 24th today. No, today is day 24th, it's the 17th of November, I believe this comes out. And I believe this series of video ends on the, uh, the 9th of December. Quite interesting, going to go from Halloween to Christmas, so it just goes to show how short of a period it is. It's like focusing on cleanup here. That Chip's quite a fun character to do, um, because he's so simple, and it's not really the um, going on and off model problem that you have with a lot of characters that are more complex or have more like, niche things. You know, he's a mug. There's, there's not really anything that looks like him. So he's uh, quite unique in that regard. So even if you draw him badly, which I think I did quite a few times here, and this frame doesn't look that great, you, you still recognize him. I believe it was Milk Carl who said uh, in the Disney Family album, he was saying that They, would, they hated drawing people because everybody recognizes a person, everybody recognizes what they should look like. like you, know, you just generally study people constantly because you constantly look at them. But when you draw animals or you draw objects, you're drawing them doing things that you don't recognize or what the animal doesn't normally do. So if you're drawing an elephant dancing or something like that, you've never seen an elephant dance, so it doesn't you have no preconceptions of what it should look like. So it's more believable to sell that motion. Which is why, you know, it's, you're drawing things that don't draw, don't do those things. So it's, uh, it's easier to sell to the audience. I wish I'd find these out better, you know, looking back on it. So today I'm recording a bunch of the different uh, voiceovers of the different days. I've got quite a few to get through. So that's interesting. Hopefully I can get them all done. The thing is, I, uh, I started recording these because I was going to do... I was going, oh, well, I, you know, I'll be on holiday, so I won't be able to like, upload them and voice over them. I only realised yesterday that uh, by the time I'm on week... What? Three? Yeah, by the time I'm on week three, I'll already be back from my holiday, so... I think on week two I'm already back from my holiday, so there's not much really, so I, I could just leave it and voice over the others when I get back, but I'd rather have this just done, so I can move on from this. I 
I don't really know what I'm going to do with this channel afterwards, actually. Uh, it's sort of just... This whole series is kind of a, just a vague idea dump of uh, things. You know, I wanted to do this for a while, so why not? And why not record myself? You know? It wasn't really... To do it. Although, actually, I feel that since I've been recording these, I find myself uh, more inclined to do them. If that makes any sense. So... What's the word? More of a... Pressure to do them. There's a better word for it. Obligation. It's more of an obligation to do these than... Uh, than to not. And uh, I kind of like that. Maybe I should have made him just uh, fall over. Hmm. No. This uh, volumes is definitely something that I need to work on. Looking at this, I mean, I swear he like doubles in size from this. But I think that starts from because I did the base first, which I didn't really keep track of the volumes for it. I'm actually having a look at what I do next week, I'm not too happy about it, because I remember not to really enjoy it. What have I got to say now? Um, hmm. I guess things to improve in animation. Probably things I'm looking for at the moment. So I think I'm... I think, you know, daily I'm getting better at animation. But uh, I watched a video recently from a... Well, it was actually a games comic, basically, on it, but I thought the sort of things he was saying spoke quite true of what I uh, would like to achieve. And, you know, you know, it's not where you find inspiration or what it relates to, it's the, what you glean from it, personally, I feel. You know, it's, if you find something that means something to you that's not related to what you're doing, but it still means something to you, this thing is important. So it was this uh, person talking about professional players and how they get better. And he was saying that the best players at what they do uh, get better every year because they are playing against the best every year. So they have to feel a sort of thing. And that you do get better being in a situation where you're surrounded by competition. And I thought that's probably true. So in terms of my animation and things like that, competing with others, something that I do in my own head, but I never actually meet them. So, but I think things I need to improve are anatomy and I don't know if I can get anatomy and volume down. And I think that could be that could be quite good. Hmm. So, 
see if there's any bit of a bugging out up in here. Just in case something else is here. Maybe some best performance. It doesn't feel like it. It is a bit difficult from the weight of the disc, but um, no, it's not really doing what I'd like. So in terms of what's next for this channel, what's going to happen, uh, I would like to do sort of 12 principles of animation for Christmas, so like one a day, it's quite fun. To do, but I don't think I'd do like a behind the scenes thing, I'd just do a quick, maybe like one second animation. And I'd probably throw in maybe some element of just like a advent calendar door opening. But that could be pretty fun. And what else would I like to do? Style frame, where I try and recreate a frame or the style of an animation would be pretty interesting, sort of breaking it down, what makes it the way it is. Uh, it would be pretty good to do, uh, going through animation books, and uh, maybe just, just overall, I would actually like to sort of voice my opinions on animation, because i got I got quite a few. And a few other animations I want to show would be pretty good. But I've got no shortage of video ideas, it's just a shortage of skill and talent to actually make them. That's my main issue. So, how far are we at the end of this? Uh, I think I might have put my animations in the wrong way. Put my um, this files in the wrong way. Oops. I'd be surprised how frequently this happens. So where are we at on this? Should be near the end. We're at 18, that's okay, that's 17. Okay. So just mostly clean up to be honest. Yeah, seems pretty decent. But yeah, so this is the last one to chip uh, today. It's quite a long one. It was um, quite a fun animation to do. The problem with uh, a lot of the, well, the problem I found with this character was that, in the same way that you know you're drawing uh, humans in doing human things and you're drawing animals doing animal things, I did quite struggle to come up with, when you have a unique character, it's quite struggling, unless you've already written something for them, it's quite difficult to imagine what, off the top of your head, what to do that isn't like, stupid. It's like, okay, he's a cup. What would be a unique thing a cup can do? Like, uh, well, there's quite a few, but uh, I don't know. They require a lot of planning. So, it was uh, definitely a challenge, but uh, I quite liked it. I'd love to do a character like this again, it's quite unique, and that doesn't really conform to, well, not really human standards, I guess, just do the sort of thing, but that has its own unique properties. So yeah, I believe that this, I'm reaching the end of my sort of recording session over here, so. Well, I hope you've enjoyed, and I will. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow for week six, I believe. It should be uh, quite nice. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Stick around to see what the animation looks like at the end. Okay. Goodbye.